Welcome to Kansas Rules of the Road. This section covers the right-of-way, traffic control devices, traffic signals, traffic signs, pavement markings, other lane controls, general rules, rules for school buses, and parking. There are rules of the road that say where, when, who, what, and how you can drive. Rules of the road are designed to keep traffic moving safely and include right-of-ways, traffic control devices, and parking rules. Let us begin with the right-of-way. Vehicles or pedestrians are likely to meet one another, and there are no signs or signals to regulate traffic there are rules on who must yield the right of way. These rules tell who must wait in different traffic situations. The law says who must yield the right of way to another roadway user. It does not give anyone the right of way. You must do everything possible you can to prevent striking a pedestrian, property, or another vehicle regardless of the circumstances. You only gain the right of way when another roadway user gives you the right of way. The follow right of way rules apply at intersections. You must yield to pedestrians at all time, even if they are jaywalking or crossing the street where they should not be, you must stop for them. When crossing a sidewalk, to enter or exit a driveway, alley, or parking lot, you must yield to pedestrians. It is illegal to drive on a sidewalk except to cross it, such as at a driveway. Pedestrians using a guide dog or carrying a white cane must be given the right of way at all times. Do not use your horn as it could confuse or frighten the visually impaired pedestrian or guide dog. When turning left, you must yield to oncoming vehicles going straight ahead or turning right. At an uncontrolled intersection, such as in a residential area where there is no stop sign, yield sign, or traffic sign, you must yield to vehicles in the intersection and those coming from the right. At a four-way stop, the driver reaching the intersection first should be given the right of way by other drivers approaching the four-way stop. If more than one vehicle arrives at the same time, the vehicle on the right goes first. When entering a road from a driveway, alley, or roadside, you must yield to vehicles already on the main road. You may not enter an intersection unless you can get through it without blocking traffic flow. Before entering, you should wait until traffic ahead clears so that you are not blocking the intersection. Moving on to traffic control devices. Traffic control devices include traffic signals, signs, and pavement markings. Traffic control also can be provided by law enforcement, highway personnel, or school crossing guards. You must obey directions from these persons. Traffic signals. Traffic signals are lights that tell you where and when you should stop and go. Traffic lights are usually at intersections and are red, yellow, and green from top to bottom when on the same signal. There are some intersections and other locations where there is a single green, yellow, or red light. In some metropolitan areas, traffic lights are horizontal instead of vertical, where the red light is on the left, and the yellow light is in the middle, and the green light is on the right. Steady green traffic light. This means you can go through the intersection if it is clear to do so. You must yield to emergency vehicles and other roadway users as required by law. If you are stopped at the intersection 
and the light turns green, you must allow crossing traffic to clear the intersection before you go ahead. Turning left at a steady green traffic light means you may turn but only when the intersection is clear to do so. You should always yield to the oncoming traffic flow and pedestrians. Green arrow. This means you can safely turn in the direction of the arrow. If the intersection is clear of other roadway users, when the arrow is green, oncoming or crossing traffic should yield to your turning action, but be careful of others making a right turn on a red from the other side of the intersection. Be alert for signs that prohibit turns at intersections. When turning at intersections, always watch for pedestrians crossing in front or from the side of your vehicle. Steady yellow traffic light. This means the traffic light is about to change to red. You should slow down and come to a complete stop if the traffic flow in the rear allows. If you are already in the intersection when the yellow comes on, you may continue safely through the intersection. Flashing yellow traffic light. This means slow down and proceed with caution. You should be prepared to stop for any traffic flow that may be entering the intersection. Yellow arrow. This means that the green arrow is ending. You should prepare to stop and yield the right of way to oncoming traffic or pedestrians. Steady red traffic light. This means stop prior to entering the intersection. You must wait behind the stop line, crosswalk, or intersection until the traffic light turns green. In some locations, there may be a small, very bright blinking light in the middle of the red light. This device is to alert you of the red light and that you must stop. When turning right at an intersection, if there's no sign prohibiting a right turn on a red light, you may turn after stopping and checking for traffic and pedestrians. Some left turns may be permitted on red when moving from a one-way street onto another one-way street or from a two-way street onto a one-way street. You must check for traffic and pedestrians crossing in front or to the side of your vehicle when turning left on red, where permitted. Flashing red traffic light. This means you must stop behind a stop line, crosswalk, or intersection before entering and use the same procedure as you would at a stop sign by coming to a complete stop, looking both ways before entering the intersection, and yielding right of way. Red arrow. This means you must stop, and you may not go in the direction of the arrow until the green arrow or light returns on the signal. Traffic signs. Traffic signs tell you about traffic rules, hazards, roadway location, roadway directions, and the location of roadway services. The shape, color, symbols, and words on these signs give clues to the type of information they provide. Warning signs. These signs tell a driver of possible danger that might be ahead, such as warning you to slow down and be prepared to stop if necessary, or a hazard or special situation on the roadway that is ahead. These signs are usually yellow with black lettering or symbols and are diamond shaped. Some warning signs may be fluorescent yellow, such as school zone school crossing, and pedestrian crossing. Crossroad ahead. Railroad crossing warning signs. Many railroad crossings have signs or signals to caution you about highway railroad grade crossings. Some common railroad crossing warning signs and signals are shown below. 
a round yellow warning sign with an X symbol and black RR letters is placed along the road prior to a highway railroad grade crossing. The sign cautions you to slow down, look and listen for a train or railroad vehicle. Be prepared to stop if a train is approaching. A white X-shaped sign with railroad crossing printed on it is located at the highway railroad grade crossing. You must wait for a train or railroad vehicle that is approaching the intersection. Your vehicle must remain behind the stop line or prior to the intersection until the intersection is clear. At highway road grade crossings with more than one train track, the number of tracks will be posted. These signs warn you that there is more than one track and there may be more than one train crossing. Not all highway railroad grade crossings with more than one track will have these signs, so it is important to check for more than one track, train, or railroad vehicle at each highway railroad grade crossing. At some highway railroad grade crossings, in addition to the signs you may see side by side, lights that will flash when a train is approaching and the lights are flash, you must stop prior to the stop line or gate crossing area. At some highway railroad grade crossings, a crossing gate will lower when a train is coming. You may not move around the gate until the gate is lifted or the lights have stopped. Some highway railroad grade crossings also have a bell or a horn that will sound. You should not cross until the bell or horn has stopped. Trains do not always set a schedule, so always expect a train at every highway railroad grade crossing, even if you have never seen one at the crossing before. Trains cannot stop quickly due to the huge weight and size of the train and speed of the train. A 100-car freight train traveling at 55 miles per hour will need more than a mile to stop. Once the train is set into emergency braking, when you need to cross railroad tracks, look both ways and cross the tracks quickly without stopping. If a train is crossing the highway, you must wait to cross a highway railroad grade crossing until the train is well down the track or railroad devices such as lights and gates indicate it is safe to cross. If you are approaching railroad tracks and you need to stop for traffic or a signal, stop at the line prior to the railroad tracks. Never permit traffic conditions to trap you in a position where you have to stop on the tracks. Only proceed through a highway railroad grade crossing if you are sure you can completely clear the crossing without stopping on the tracks. You must always yield the right of way to trains and railroad vehicles at highway railroad grade crossings. Remember the trains are large, heavy, and are moving faster than they look. Work Zone Signs These construction, maintenance, or emergency operation signs alert you to work zones ahead and warn you that people are working on or near the roadway. They are generally diamond or rectangular shaped and orange with black letters or symbols. These warnings include workers ahead, reduced speed, detours, slow-moving construction equipment, and poor or suddenly changing road surfaces. In work zones, 
traffic may be controlled by a person with a sign or a flag to tell you which direction to travel to slow down or stop. You must follow their instructions. Barriers such as drums, cones, and tubes are used to keep traffic out of hazardous work zones. Along with signs and road markings, they guide you safely through the work zone. Barriers may be used to keep drivers from entering closed roads or other areas where it is dangerous to drive. Temporary traffic signals may be used in work zones. You may see a warning sign showing the symbol of a traffic signal. Stop at the white line if present. Give construction workers a break. Reduce your speed in work zones. Be prepared to stop suddenly. Do not tailgate in work zones. Fines for speeding in a work zone are double. Regulatory signs. These signs tell you about specific laws that you must obey, such as rules for traffic direction, lane use, turning, speed, parking, and other special situations. These signs are square, rectangular, or have a special shape and are white with black, red, or green letters or symbols. Some regulatory signs have a red circle with a red slash over the symbol. These signs prohibit certain actions, such as left turns, right turns, or U-turns. Common types of regulatory signs. Speed limit signs. These black and white signs indicate the maximum legal speed allowed or the minimum legal speed required. The maximum speed limit should be driven only in ideal driving conditions and you must reduce your speed when weather or traffic conditions require it. For example, you should reduce your speed when the roadway is slippery during rain, snow, icy conditions, foggy conditions, and any time it is difficult to see the roadway clearly. Some high-speed roads have minimum speed limits, and you are legally required to travel at at least this fast, so as not to be a hazard to other drivers. School speed limit when flashing sign. This sign is posted before a school to indicate a reduced speed limit in a school zone. The speed limit is required only when the light is flashing, otherwise obey the roadway's speed limit. Lane use control sign. These black and white signs tell you where you can go, where you can turn, and often use an arrow symbol. These signs can be located on the side of the road or hanging over the lane of travel. Sometimes arrows may be painted on the road as a supplement to the sign. Stop sign. A stop sign has eight sides and is red with white letters. You must stop behind the stop line or crosswalk if one is present. Look for crossing vehicles and pedestrians in all directions and yield the right of way. When it is safe to do so, you may enter the intersection. A four-way sign may be added to the stop sign at intersections where all approaching traffic has a stop sign. You may also see three-way, five-way, or all-way signs. Yield sign. A yield sign is a red and white downward-pointing triangle with red letters. It means you must slow down and allow traffic that has the right of way to cross before entering. Shared center lane left turn only. This sign tells you where the lane is reserved for the use of left turning vehicles from either direction and is not to be used for through traffic or passing other vehicles. No turn on red. When you see this sign posted, 
it means you may not turn right or left during a red light you must wait for the traffic signal to turn green before turning stop here on red this sign tells you where you must stop if the traffic light is red if there is not a no turn on red sign at the traffic light after stopping at the stop line and checking for traffic and pedestrians, you may turn right on red. Do not block intersection. This sign tells you not to stop, stand, or park at any time in the intersection. You must not enter the intersection if traffic conditions do not permit you to clear the intersection completely. You must not block traffic entering into the intersection from any other direction. Left turn yield on green. This sign tells you that a left turn is permitted, but must yield to oncoming traffic. One-way street. These signs tell you that traffic flows only in the direction of the arrow. Do not turn the opposite direction of the arrow. Never drive the wrong way on a one-way street. No passing zone. Do not pass. This sign tells you where you cannot pass another vehicle. Passing areas are based on how far you can see ahead. They consider unseen hazards such as hills and curves, intersections, driveways, and other places a vehicle or pedestrian may enter the roadway. Pass with care. This sign tells you that you are at the end of a no-passing zone. You may pass only when it is safe to do so. Keep right. These signs indicate when traffic must stay to the right of the roadway feature or obstruction, such as an oncoming median, island, or lane divider. Slower traffic keep right. This sign is posted on a multi-lane highway for those driving slower than the normal speed of traffic. It tells the slow driver to stay in the right lane. Do not enter. A square sign with a white horizontal line inside a red circle means you cannot enter. This sign is visible at roadway openings that you may not enter, such as exit ramps, where you would be going in the wrong direction in crossovers on divided roadways, and at numerous locations on one-way streets. Wrong way. This sign tells you that your vehicle is moving in the wrong direction. You will see this sign on expressway ramps a short distance past the Do Not Enter sign. You may also see this sign if you turn the wrong way onto a one-way street, alley, or driveway. Guide signs. These signs are square and rectangular and are green, brown, or blue. They give information on intersecting roads, help direct you to cities and towns, and show points of interest along the highway. Guide signs can also help you find hospitals, service stations, restaurants, and hotels. Destination signs. These green or brown signs are square or rectangular shaped with white lettering or symbols. They show direction and distance to various locations such as cities, airports, state, and county lines, or to special areas such as national parks, historical areas, or museums. If the word exit is written on the left side of the exit sign, the exit lane or ramp is on the left, and if the word exit is written on the right side of the exit sign, the exit lane or ramp is on the right. Service signs. These blue signs are square or rectangular, shaped with white lettering or symbols. They show the location of various services such as rest areas, gas stations, hotels, or hospitals. Incident signs. These signs are temporary and let you know when you should be prepared to stop or when roadways are crossed or detoured due to a road user incident, natural disaster, hazardous material spill, 
or other unplanned incident. These signs are fluorescent pink with black lettering. Pavement markings. Pavement markings are lines, arrows, words, or symbols painted on the roadway to give you directions or warnings. They are used to divide lanes, tell you when you may pass other vehicles or change lanes, which lanes to use for turns, define pedestrian walkways, and where you must stop for signs and traffic signals. Yellow lane marking. Lines separating traffic moving in opposite directions are yellow. Dashed yellow lines between opposing lanes of traffic mean that you may pass if a safe gap in traffic is available. Some passing zones have signs that tell you where passing is permitted and not permitted by law, where there is both a solid and a dashed line between opposing lanes of traffic you should not pass if the solid yellow line is on your side. If the dashed line is on your side, you may pass if a safe gap in traffic is available. When you are permitted to pass, you may do so only if the lane entered is clear of traffic flow. Be aware of road conditions and other vehicles. Pass only when necessary. Two solid yellow lines between lanes of traffic means neither side may pass. You may cross a solid yellow line to turn when gaps of traffic flow exist. White lane markings. Multiple lanes of travel in the same direction are separated by white lane markings. A dashed line between lanes of traffic means you may cross it to change lanes if a safe gap in traffic is available. A solid white line between lanes of traffic means that you must stay in the lane unless a special situation requires a lane change. They also mark the right edge of the roadway and parking spaces. Solid white lines designate turn lanes and prevent lane changes near intersections. White arrows on the roadway indicate which way traffic is flowing and can also indicate which turns may be made from which lanes. Crosswalks and stop lines. When required to stop because of a sign or signal, you must stop behind the stop line, crosswalk, or behind the stop sign or signal. Crosswalks define the area where pedestrians may cross the roadway. You must yield to pedestrians entering or in a crosswalk not all crosswalks are marked. Be alert for pedestrians when crossing intersections. If crosswalks are not apparent, then you must stop prior to entering the intersection. If there is a stop line before the crosswalk, the stop line must be obeyed first. If you are leaving a driveway, alley, or building area, such as a gas station, store, or restaurant, it is required that you stop just as you would if there was a stop sign. You should stop behind the sidewalk. You must yield the right-of-way to all pedestrians and traffic. Other Lane Controls Shared center left turn lane. On many streets where it is difficult to make a left turn safely, there is a shared left turn lane located in the middle of the roadway. The solid yellow center line means you cannot use the center lane for passing. The broken yellow center lines show the vehicles traveling in either direction may use the center lane only to make left turns. When using a shared left turn lane, do not move into the lane too soon. The longer you stay in the lane, the more likely you will meet someone coming in the opposite direction. Watch for vehicles pulling out of entrances and side streets 
and do not use a shared left turn lane for anything but turning left. When using a shared center left turn lane, you must check for vehicles ahead, check mirrors, signal left, and check your left blind spot by looking over your shoulder. Steer smoothly into the shared center left turn lane and choose an appropriate gap in oncoming traffic to make the left turn. General Rules When there are no signs or markings to control the use of lanes, there are general rules to indicate which lane is to be used. These rules cover general driving, passing, and turning. General driving. It is illegal and unsafe to back a vehicle in any travel lane except to parallel park. Drivers do not expect a vehicle to be backing towards them and may not realize it until it is too late. If you miss a turn or exit, do not back up. A driver should go on to where it is safe to turn around. Do not stop in travel lanes or on the shoulder for any reason. You should keep moving until you can safely pull off the road in a parking area. When driving on a road or two or more lanes traveling in the same direction, stay in the right lane except to pass. On a road with three or more lanes traveling in the same direction, Use the center travel lane, especially when there is a lot of traffic entering or exiting the traffic flow. Unless told to do so by a law enforcement official or allowed by local regulations, never drive on the shoulder of the road. Passing. On multi-lane roads, the leftmost lane is intended to be used for passing slower vehicles. When passing on the right, the other driver may have difficulty seeing you and might suddenly change lanes. Never pass on the shoulder whether it is paved or not. Other drivers may pull off the road without looking for your vehicle. Turning. When approaching an intersection, search all corners for traffic controls, pedestrians, other vehicles, etc and signal your intentions. When there are no signs or lane markings to control turning, enter and maintain proper position in the lane that is closest to the direction you want to go. Recheck traffic in all directions, look through the turn to the farthest point possible alongside the intended path, Turn the steering wheel smoothly as needed. As a safety precaution, turn into the closest lane that is going in the direction you want to go. This way, you will cross the fewest lanes of traffic. Accelerate smoothly to appropriate speed. Make sure turn signal is cancelled and check traffic to the rear. If you are not already in the right lane after turning, change lanes to the right when it is safe to do so and maintain lane position. Right turns. On right turns, avoid swinging wide to the left before making the turn. When moving into the other lane, the driver behind you may think you are changing lanes or going to turn left. It may try to pass you on the right. Always turn right from the rightmost lane, and when lane markings indicate multiple lanes can be used for a right turn at the same time. Left turns. When making a left turn and the light turns green, pull into the intersection to be ready to turn. Avoid cutting the corner so sharply that your vehicle is in the front of someone approaching from the left. However, be sure to leave room for oncoming vehicles to turn left in front of your vehicle. Always turn left from the leftmost lane or when lane markings indicate multiple lanes can be used 
for a left turn at the same time. Multiple lanes turning. At least one block before turning, identify and enter the lane from which you will turn. Check mirrors for following traffic and check blind spots by looking over your shoulder. Signal and when safe to do so, enter appropriate lane when the green signal appears and it is safe, steer into the lane corresponding to the one from which the turn was made, maintain lane position, and accelerate smoothly to appropriate speed turnabouts. There may be times when you find yourself headed in the incorrect direction. For example, if you need to park on the other side of the roadway, or you are lost and need to turn around. The safest way to change direction is to turn right and go around the block. This avoids most left turns across traffic. If you are on the interstate system, go to the next exit and turn around. It is illegal to cross the median strip or to use the crossover areas reserved for emergency vehicles. Roundabouts and traffic circles. These are found in some areas to help ensure safe passage of traffic through an intersection without necessarily stopping the flow of traffic. A roundabout or traffic circle is a circular intersection with design features that promote safe and efficient traffic flow. Vehicles travel counterclockwise around a raised center island with entering traffic yielding the right of way to circulating traffic. When entering the roundabout or traffic circle, you must negotiate a sharp curve, slow your speed to about 15 to 20 miles per hour. Once in the roundabout, proceed to the appropriate exit. Following the guidance provided by traffic signs and pavement markings. If there's more than one lane going in the same direction, make sure you know where you want to go and are in the proper lane before entering and do not change lanes or pass any vehicles. When using roundabouts or traffic circles, slow down as you approach the circle. Yield to any traffic in the circle. If another vehicle arrives at the traffic circle at the same time as you do, yield to the vehicle if it is on your right. Also, yield to pedestrians or bicyclists in the traffic circle or roundabout. Enter traffic circle to the right, but steer to the left in a counterclockwise direction. Be courteous and signal your intentions as you approach and drive through a traffic circle or roundabout. If you intend to turn right, signal right when approaching and until you have exited the traffic circle or roundabout. If you are going straight, though, no signal is needed while approaching. However, signal right before the exit you want to take. If you intend to turn left, signal left on the approach to the traffic circle or roundabout once you have traveled three quarters of the way around the traffic circle or roundabout signal right and then take the exit. Do not drive alongside large vehicles such as trucks and buses in a traffic circle or roundabout. Rules for school buses. You must stop for a school bus that is stopped its red lights flashing and or stop arm extended. After the school bus's red lights have stopped flashing and the stop arm is no longer visible, watching for children along the side of the road and do not proceed until it is safe. You must stop for a school bus when there are two solid yellow lines between lanes of traffic. Whether the school bus is on your side of the road or on the opposite side of the road. You must stop for a school bus when there is a center turning lane between the roadways, whether the school bus is on your side of the road or the opposite side of the road. You must stop for the school bus when on a multi-lane highway, whether the school bus is on your side or the opposite side. You must stop for a school bus when you are on an intersection, 
whether it is on your side or the opposite side. You are not required to stop if the bus is traveling towards you and the roadway is separated by a median or other physical barrier. Parking. You are responsible for making sure that your vehicle is not a hazard when it is parked. A parked vehicle must be in a place that is one far enough from any travel lane to avoid interfering with traffic and two visible to vehicles approaching from either direction. Always park in a designated area as required. When parking along the roadway, park your vehicle as far away from traffic as possible. If there is a curb, park as close to it as possible. Parking downhill with or without a curb. When parking your vehicle on a downhill, whether with a curb or without a curb, bring the vehicle to a stop parallel to and within 12 inches of the curb or road edge. Turn the steering wheel sharply toward the edge or the curb side of the roadway while moving slowly forward. Stop when the tire closest to the side of the road reaches the edge of the road or just as it touches the curb, using it as a block. This way, your if your vehicle starts to roll down the hill, it will roll away from traffic. Parking uphill with a curb. When parking your vehicle on an uphill with a curb, bring the vehicle to a stop parallel to and within 12 inches of the curb. Move forward slowly, turning the steering wheel sharply away from the curb. Stop, then allow the vehicle to roll slowly back until the tire touches the curb and stop. This way, if your vehicle starts to roll down the hill, it will roll away from traffic. Parking uphill without a curb. When parking your vehicle on an uphill where there is no curb, bring the vehicle to a stop parallel to and within 12 inches of the edge of the road. Move slowly forward, turning the wheel sharply toward the edge of the road. Stop when the closest to the edge of the road reaches the edge of the road. This way, if the vehicle starts to move, it will roll away from traffic. No parking zones. There are many areas where you cannot park. Check for signs that may prohibit or limit parking. Some parking restrictions are indicated by colored curb markings. Do not park in an intersection, on a crosswalk or sidewalk, in a construction area if your vehicle will block traffic, within 30 feet of a traffic signal stop sign or yield sign, within 30 feet of a pedestrian safety zone, within 15 feet of a fire hydrant, within 50 feet of a highway railroad grade crossing, more than one foot from the curb, within 20 feet of a fire station driveway on the same side of the street or within 75 feet of a driveway on the other side of the street. Blocking a driveway, alley, private road, or any area of the curb removed or lowered for access to the sidewalk, on a bridge, overpass, underpass, or in a tunnel, on the opposite side of the street against traffic flow, in the space marked for handicapped unless you have a handicap license plate, tag, or sticker on the roadway next to a parked vehicle whether a sign indicates you cannot park. Painted curbs indicate other parking restrictions. White indicates that only short stops are permitted. Yellow indicates a loading zone or some other restrictions. Blue indicates a handicap restriction. Red indicates fire zone restrictions. So those are the Kansas rules of the road.